Hello scientific brilliant people, how are you today? So today I am going to discuss about the time period expression for electron in the nth orbit of the, uh, of the atom and this concept is related to Bohr's atomic model. So I am going to consider an electron in the nth orbit. Actually this model is only applied for hydrogen and hydrogen like atoms. So I am going to consider an electron in nth orbit where it is performing revolutions in a circular orbit. But then initially we can apply the concepts to first orbit, second orbit and so on. But ideally we should apply this for a single electron in first shell atom, those kind of atoms, hydrogen like atoms. So right now I have assumed that there is an electron in the nth orbit which is moving round and round about the nucleus in a circular orbit having radius Rn. Now this electron moves with certain velocity and when this electron performs one complete round, the time taken is said to be as time period. So the time taken for one complete revolution is said to be time period and in this time period the distance travelled by the electron would be 2 pi r equal to the circumference of the, of circumference of the orbit. Fine? Okay. Now certain expressions like uh, radius expression, energy expressions I have already derived and I am going to put the link into the description so you can just check and um, so that you don't have any confusions over here. So since time period is equal to distance travelled upon speed, distance is equal to circumference that is 2 pi r. So we also note the second postulate of Niels Bohr mvr is equal to nh upon 2 pi. I am sorry this is the first postulate and if I apply this to the nth orbit then mvr is equal to nh upon 2 pi. From here I can also write down vn as nh upon 2 pi mass of the electron times the radius of the nth orbit. This is the angular momentum should be equal to h upon 2 pi is integral multiple. So angular momentum of, four, of what? Angular momentum of the thing that is performing circular motion which is electron over here. So this expression I am going to substitute it over here. So this becomes 2 pi r n upon n h upon 2 pi mass of electron into r n. So this expression of time period actually becomes 4 pi square m e r n square upon n h. So this is our time period expression but still it has got one variable that is radius apart from this. We want our time period expression to be reduced only in z and n. But here we have radius and previously I have already derived that the radius expression r is equal to n square h square epsilon 0 upon pi m z e raised to 4 where this is the mass of the electron right. Now this expression I am going to put it over here and I am going to solve it so I get the time period expression. Now time period of an electron that is equal to 4 pi square instead of r square I am going to square this one so this becomes n raised to 4 h raised to 4 epsilon 0 square pi square m e square z square e raised to e raised to 4 I am sorry I made a mis mistake over here it is e square so here in this expression it is e square so when I square it up I get e raised to 4 I am going to find out for the identical terms which I can cancel so 1n over here so this becomes n cube then 1h over here so this becomes h cube this pi square pi square is getting cancelled over here what else mass of electron and single mass of electron remains over here so now I think that all the necessary calculation uh, this cancellation has been done so let me write down the final time period expression that is equal to 4 epsilon 0 square then I have h cube then at the bottom 
I have e raised to 4 m e and multiplied by n cube upon z square. So as you can see that all these things are constant. So you can also state that time period is proportional to n cube upon z square. And even you can make a point that time period is proportional to n cube for a given atom because for a given atom the value of z would be constant. So now let us try to find out the time period of an electron in the nth orbit, first orbit. So instead of this n I am going to substitute 1 and I am going to find out the time period for electron in the first orbit for hydrogen atom. So for hydrogen atom z is also 1 and n is also 1 for the first orbit correct and time period would be equal to 4 epsilon 0 is 8.85 into 10 raised to minus 12 in SI unit this is square multiplied by this h is 6.62 into 10 raised to minus 34 in SI unit its cube upon mass of electron is 9.11 into 10 raised to minus 31 kilogram and charge of electron is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb SI unit and this is raised to 4. So guys if you solve it with the help of the calculator your time period expression will reduce to 1.522 into 10 raised to negative 16 seconds. This is the time period of an electron in the first orbit. Now if you want to find out for the second orbit, so we know that it is t proportional to n cube. So you can also use this expression t1 upon t2 that will be equal to n1 upon n2 the whole cube because t is proportional to n cube. So t1 upon t2 would be equal to this one. Now you can simply say, state that if this is 1 then this is the time period. If this is 2 it will be 8. So now T1 is this time period. So 1.5522 into 10 raised to minus 16 multiplied by or upon time period of an electron in the second orbit that is 1 cube that is 1 upon 2 cube. So this is basically 1 by 8. So T2 would be equal to 8 times 1.522 into 10 raised to minus 16 seconds. In the same way if you ask me to find out the electrons time period in the third orbit then I am going to substitute T1 upon T3, N1 upon N3 whole cube and 3 cube is 3 3 is a 9 3 is a 27. So simply I will have to multiply this number by 27 in order to find out the electrons time period in the third orbit. So hopefully guys this works for you. Thank you for watching the video.